Tone up. Let's talk about it. If this is your first time tuning in here on this channel, we talk about film, fashion, and photography, all three things that I love. My name is David Wilson II, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Rode PodMic USB in a light comparison against the Shure MV7, one of the more popular microphones in the same price range. Now, I don't typically talk about audio equipment unless it's directly related to filmmaking, but when Rode recently announced this microphone, I was curious to see how well this microphone could hold up and help speed up my workflow when making videos here on the channel. So let's talk about it. Taking a look at the MV7, immediately what impresses me the most about this microphone was its design and premium finish. Although only costing $249, Shure was wise in making a microphone that closely resembled the widely used SM7B. Moving on to the back of the microphone, we have a standard headphone jack, XLR port, and micro USB port, which we'll talk a little bit about later. When plugged into your desktop or laptop through micro USB, you're able to manage your microphone settings using the Shure Motive application. From here, users are able to easily select automatic features for a more simple plug and play option or manual, which gives you a little bit more control over the final sound. Now jumping over to the Rode PodMic USB, for this microphone to only be $200, this thing looks and feels like a premium product. Now I will admit, when I first unboxed the PodMic USB, I preferred the design of the Shure MV7, but after spending a couple days with it, just like after a few days, this thing quickly went from a basic 6 to a strong 9. Turning to the back of the PodMic USB, we have a standard size headphone jack, XLR port, and also a USB-C port that connects directly into any device with that connection, including mobile devices and tablets. Rode was also nice enough to include a microphone cover to cut down on some of the plosives coming through the microphone, which I can appreciate. To further see how these two microphones compare head to head, here's what both microphones sound like when plugged into XLR. If this is your first time tuning in here on this channel, we talk about film, fashion, and photography, all three things that I love. My name is David Wilson II, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Shure MV7 for podcast. If this is your first time tuning in here on this channel, we talk about film, fashion, and photography, all three things that I love. My name is David Wilson II, and in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Rode PodMic USB. Now, even though both microphones sound similar over XLR, I did have to do some cleaning up in post to remove some noise, but nothing too crazy. The final test really came once I plugged both microphones into my computer, but because the Shure Motive software doesn't have a record feature built in, I had to test the sound quality in Zoom. Now what really separates the Rode PodMic USB from the Shure MV7 is the USB-C cable and the free Rode Connect app. To make this simple, anytime I purchase equipment of any kind, I want to make sure that that is something that I can use moving forward into the future. I don't want to always be reaching for different types of cables and adapters, and for the Shure MV7 to have a micro USB over USB-C, I think it's a complete miss, especially priced at $250. Again, to be able to record audio using XLR or USB-C was important for me, and not only does the Rode PodMic deliver on both, the Rode Connect app makes this even easier. We are now in the Rode Connect app, and as you can see, we've been recording for a little over 20 seconds, and just under that, we have the PodMic USB that we have plugged into our computer. If we click on that, we can go ahead and customize our microphone to whatever settings we would like, make it a little bit more colorful, add a little bit more character to our voice we have gain high pass and then also an advanced feature which we're not going to get into today we also have system uh control as well so if we have music playing in the background we can control that and then lastly we have the sound panel in which Rode was nice enough to incorporate eight slides of different sound effects that we can include i'll play a few of them right now And there you go. So Rode did a really good job of not just building a great microphone, but they also added a great software that we could use for podcasts, for any other talking uh, head stuff that we plan on using it for. And then lastly, I'm recording right now, so I can't really show it. But once you're done recording, you would just click this over here. It's called uh, recording views. And then you can pull up all the recordings that you have and download it from there. All in all, it came down to two things, the USB-C connection and the Rode connection app. The fact that I'm able to record straight into the Rode software from my computer, download the clip, drop it into Adobe Premiere, and then boom, I'm done. I mean, it just makes my life and process that much easier. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought. And as always, start your day with giving because way too many people take. Time to get back to work.